Welcome back to my channel. I am Maria as always and if this is the first time you come across one of my videos Thank you for watching and I hope you'll stick around and check out all the playlists I have made and if you See something you like don't hesitate to click on the tiny little like button And if you see something you don't like let me know and if you have any suggestions on what I should do in the future or something you would like to see more of let me know and then I will see what I can do. But today's video, I am going to do it a bit differently than I will normally do because today's video is a DIY video on how you can turn this pretty beauty into something um, cosmetic and how you can turn it into a lip balm container. And um, the reason why I did it was because it is so easy and it is so affordable and it's definitely more healthy than a lot of the other beauty products you can buy in the drugstore and um, well who doesn't want a Polly Pocket uh, lip balm container I don't know but I hope you'll stick around and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel make sure to head over on Instagram and say hi I upload uh, daily videos there and photos so I'm a bit more active there than I'm on YouTube but without further ado let's go transform this beauty what you're going to use is you're going to use an empty container of course and I have already cleaned this one so this one is ready to go and then you're going to use some bee wax I've decided to use organic bee wax but if you want a vegan version I will leave some links below to what you can use instead of bee wax and you are going to use some oil. I decided to use organic almond oil, but you can also use um, olive oil. And this one is optional. This is some flavor using for if you are making candy. And this lipstick is meant to give uh, your lip balm some color, but it is totally optional. It is not something you need to do. And then you're going to use some coconut oil. I would use organic. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, mix your uh, bee wax and your coconut oil and melt it together. You can see this weird MacGyver solution I'm trying to do here. But the most important thing is you're going to uh, melt it together and don't get water in your mixture. That remember that this is hot water and it's hot wax so please be careful you guys. So you're going to gently stir it. I'm using a old chopstick I think and just mix it. This one is going to be a basic one and um, you're also going to use some um, almond oil. You're going to add it now. And to gently uh, pour it up in your container. This is the basic one. The more um, coconut oil you are adding, the more gloss effect uh, your lip balm will have. So keep that in mind. If you like like it more lip balm with no gloss, add more bee wax. And this is where I add some color. I just chopped a tiny bit of my red lipstick and added it in the mixture so it will melt together. And uh, make sure to use some, some lipstick with a lot of color because the color will be a lot more lighter than normally. So yeah, you just do the same. You just pour it down in your container and now you have this beautiful red um, lip balm that is totally good for your lips and organic. The next one I'm going to, to make is I'm going to add a bit of cinnamon because cinnamon is the nature's um, way of making your lips plumber so if you like to have plum lips or bigger lips just add a, a hint of uh, cinnamon and um, your lips will have this plumness and the last one I added a bit of cola flavor simply because I absolutely adore lip balms that smell of cola make sure that the flavor you're using to flavor your lip balm are meant to be eaten because no matter what you do you're going to eat some of the lip balms when you're licking your lips and remember that the lip balms are supposed to be cooled before you're using it and uh, store this in a cool environment so it doesn't melt again and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys are going to make and make sure to tag me on your photos on my Instagram profile and I will definitely share some of your beautiful creations and uh, I will see you guys for the next video and I hope that you 
um, will join me and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys for the next time. See you!